Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures, where this week we are playing a guidebook of Barbel, which is a really, really cool little point-and-click adventure game, which is coming out soon. This is a beta version of the game, which I've been given very kindly by the devs to play on the channel and show off for you guys. But it's just a really cool concept. I'm going to get into that in a little bit. We're going to jump in uh, and read this. Ding dong, nice to meet... Wait, wait, we just met, didn't we? You, come and help me complete a guidebook of Barbel. While we're on adventures, I'll record everything so we can complete the guidebook. Don't dilly-dally, start acting now. Okay, so here we go. So the game is um, about the afterlife and um, sort of regrets that you have during your lifetime and a little bit about the butterfly effect as well. So if you'd done things differently in your life, what effect that would have had on the outcome of your life and all the people and things that surround you. It's a really, really interesting little concept for a game and I can't wait to see what it's all about. Um, so... Let's just click to, to go in, I guess. Um, here we go. A guidebook of Barbel. Now, uh, as I said, this is a beta version, so there might be some performance issues, I don't know. Also, I've been told the English localization of this is sort of a work in progress, so there might be some slight translation issues. Um, it's actually uh, a Chinese game. Uh, and there's sort of a, a little video that the devs put together over on the YouTube channel. I'll link it down below, where they talk about their ideas for the game and a bit about their studio. And just everything they were saying... Um, just really struck a note with me. It just it seemed like something that I really wanted to, to know more about. So um, let's have a look. What have we got here? Giant boiler, dripper carnival, deck, central station. Um, can we can we click on these or page? Oh, okay. So it's a book. I see. Right. So here we go. So we've got a character here. What's this? Who can tell me what this place is? Ongoing. The crew races against the clock to catch puffers ashore, welcoming the last batch of passengers before the deck closes. So you have to do loads of little bits and pieces. As I said, this is beta testing, so could be some issues. I don't know, but it just looks really cool. I love the art style as well. It's, it's really fantastic. Don't move. Damn. Alright, so we're trying to catch these little puffer fish. Stop, you fat fish. <laughs> hey. Oh, crashed into each other there. Watch out. Hey, are you blind? Start unloading. Okay, so they're putting all the fish into this tube then. Nice. And off we go. What's this, the supervisor? Report just in. The capture and unloading has been completed. Well done, kid. Dock your boat. Remember to come and have a drink at my place before you leave. Thanks, boss. <laughs> Transporter. C come in, boss. Time to get to work. Transport the puffers to the workshop immediately. On it now, boss. Okay, and here we go. We are off. Uh, so, uh, what do we have here? Let's have a look. We can look at things. We've got a character up here. The hard currency on the ship. It's origin, always a mystery. Okay. So, okay, this is our invent then, I'm guessing, down here. So we can click on various things. We can click to use this. Oh, that doesn't look good. Seems to be broken. Hey, did you touch that? Didn't I tell you to call me before you use it? Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot. I told you that the pipe was broken. Ah, you never listen. Move aside, let me handle this. I like the little um, little thought bubble things where they're sort of displaying their emotions and things. Phew! All fixed. Nice. A shiny chalk. Excuse me? Come on, dude. That's not even enough to wash my wet clothes. Alright, you got me. Dude, it's soaked. What? No way. <laughs> Never mind. Just remember to pay me back later. A bucket of shiny chalk is the price to pay for forgetting to call the repairman. Ding dong! Want to know what I recorded? It's an event sign. This is something worth your attention. Why would I record it? Haha, <laughs> not the time to reveal it yet. It will come in handy in the future. Forget it. Keep loading the goods. The tips here are also quite useful. Don't forget to check them. Tap the event button on the left to view the detailed info of the event obtained on the current stage. Okay, so is this the event button? Yeah, it is. So, a bucket of shiny... So, I think this is the um, butterfly effect thing. So, by touching that when we um, didn't call the repairman, we've now unlocked an event. 
So I believe from watching the, the sort of dev video and things, you can use the butterfly effect to go back and change what happened and see the outcome and stuff. I just really love that. It's really cool. Uh, right, what do we have around here? So there's a hint thing. Tap the event button on the left to view detailed info. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, yeah, so we've, we've done that. Okay. So let's move on. What's up here? Oh, hey, what took you so long? Do you want to spend the night on the deck? Uh, be right there, boss. Okay, so we've got to go to the boss then. That's fine, we can go to the boss. Look at all these cool machines. Don't come here, dude, you'll knock over my tools. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, can we not go that way? Maybe we have to go down here. We can't go this way. Oh, so you can click and hold as well, rather than just point and click. That's pretty cool. Can we go up here? No, okay. No, we don't want to spend the night on the deck. Uh, be right there. Okay, so... What have we got there? Turn soft the moment it met water. The nightmare of every shiny chalk. Okay. Um, can we get past this dude? We can t hey, don't s just stand here, dude. I've got no time to chat with you now. See, too much work here. Hope I can finish it before the deck is closed. Alright. Uh, huh. So he won't, he won't let us go over that way then. So, so how do we get past this guy? We can't go up there. So we've got to find a way to get... <clears throat> down to the boss then. Can we interact with that? that? That one looks different. No, okay. Right, let's head down. I like the music as well. The music's pretty cool. Uh, maybe we have to do something with this then? Or maybe we can use that. Can, can we do it again just to... Oh yeah, there we go. Now the puffer fish are out. Okay, so, because he repaired it, we're fine. Right. Right, now we can take the shipment over, I'm guessing. Uh, can we... No, we can't go through the wall. Right, so we're going to have to take this up and round, maybe? Yeah, okay, we can go all the way up now, because we've got the shipment. Hey, look at all these people. Did you watch the weather forecast? No, what did it say? The monsoon will reach its peak before tonight. Okay, oh, we cut them off there. Uh, can we talk to any of these guys while we're here? I don't, I don't think we can. Uh, Alright, let's just focus on getting this over to the captain, shall we, for now? Why are there puffer fish in here? Hey, why are you so wet? Is the rain that heavy? Mm, not really. Oh, okay, there we go. Whoa! Did the puffer fish turn into a person? Got any shiny chalks? I can't stand this anymore. Just two will do. If you don't mind that they're soaked. What? Oh, you didn't drop them into the water, did you? Forget I asked. They're turning into people! Well, this, they've got people in them, I guess. What is that? Is that a pufferfish person? Guys, got any carry bags? Mine are all gone. Really? Let me help you check. Okay, here's one. Oh yeah, there's one. Stop, that's mine! Yours? I've got... I, it's got all the vol that I've been secretly hiding away. I want to take them to the reason, resin carnival? <clears throat> Excuse me, can you hurry up? Oh, he took it back. Come in, come in. What's he doing with it? Oh, okay, he's passed it over himself. Thanks a lot. The carry bag lying near the operator's feet contained his personal allowance was almost accidentally thrown out. The operator wanted a few shiny chalks to join his buddies who were chilling outside. Uh, I'm Braith. I work as a handyman in the circus. A few days ago, Lake and I boarded the Queen of Roses together, a cruise ship heading to the old world that was supposed to take us to her mother. But now, what on earth is going on? Lake, where are you? So I think this, I think, from the, the video, this is the afterlife now. Um... And, and the people do these tasks and remember things about their life and things like that. Um, so we're playing as a new character now. That's pretty cool. Uh, can we go... D can we switch characters or anything? No, we did get some events. Okay. So maybe we have to get all of the events to, to carry on. What's this? Seems like the valve control in the conveyor belt. Okay, we don't seem to be able to actually do anything with it. Can we look at any of this stuff? Oh, electric guitar. Nice. Electric guitar. We don't seem to be able to, to play it or anything, though. Uh, right. Uh, ugh, what's in there? 
The residue on it is really appalling. Is it? Is it this guy vomiting? Yeah, I think it is actually. You're right there, buddy. You seem to be um, making a bit of a mess over there. Uh, okay, so who's this then? Oh, welcome to the barbel, sir. I'm your guide, and I'll be taking you to the front. I'll, I'll be taking you to the front to board the magic wheel. You can call me Thomas. What? What are you talking about? What's this place? The barbel, of course. Please forgive me for the abruptness. I'll explain it to you in detail. But please take your carry bag first, sir. So one of the inspirations behind this is like the story of the uh, the Tower of Barbel from the Bible. Um, so that's that's where some of the concepts come from as well. This is. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you still not feeling well? Yes, my stomach feels a bit. Don't worry, sir. Your symptoms are very common. For passengers like you, we have. Uh, dirty sinks. Yeah. Literally. Right, that's it. You can go and take care of it now. Uh, no, thank you. Then let me take you to exchange your ticket now. Please follow me. Please, wait a minute. When the pointer is pointed at an item icon in the inventory, the item's info and additional options will be displayed. Okay. Every passenger will receive this bag containing seasickness pills, compressed biscuits, disposable vomit bags, and a few vial when they first board the ship. Okay, very nice. Ooh, who's this? You're just in time, human. Have you seen a... a... Damn, I forgot its name. Something with a big flat bottom and a long pole on top. Damn, do you understand what I mean? Uh, well, seems you also don't know. I must find it. A swim team member is looking for a special something in the workshop on the deck. Okay. Interesting. Can we get to the workshop at all? I, I don't think we can actually get back through, can we? No, because of the conveyor belt. Uh, so that's fine. Right, well, let's follow up to where Thomas went. Braith! Lake? You're finally here! I thought you left me! What? Why would I do that? Really? I almost thought I'd never see you again. I'm sorry, Lake. <laughs> it's all because you were too slow. Where on earth did you go? Uh, I... <laughs> What's wrong? You look pale. <sighs> Don't worry. What are you doing here, Lake? I? I was here when I woke up. <clears throat> he woke me up. This is really unexpected. Sir, you're this young lady's... He's Braith, my father. Lake. I'm sorry to interrupt your reunion, but the magic will is about to depart. Please hurry up. Who's magic will? Are we talking about that giant ladybug? Whoa, check that out. That's huge. Whoa, look at that. This is really cool, I've got to say. Very unlike anything I've ever played before. Come on, Braith, let's board the giant ladybug together. Wait a minute, Lake. Alright, so we're boarding the giant ladybug, I guess. Lake! Boss, it seems he's waking up. Should I continue? Unless you want to burn his brain. Understood. I'll turn off the device now. Oh, what's going on here? This doesn't look good. I thought you'd sleep a bit longer, human. Past. The crew races against the clock to catch puffers ashore, welcoming the last batch of passengers before the deck closes. Braith, a former circus member, is one of them. His daughter Lake is also with him. Okay. Huh, so did we complete that first level? Yeah, we did. Well done, passing the first stage in such a short time. That's nothing though. Starting from the next stage, we'll encounter stage quests. <laughs> That's the essence of this guidebook. Don't you want to challenge it? All right, so we can we can move on to some sort of like this quests now. M may I leave now? Ongoing. Braith is seen as Thomas's accomplice and is locked up in the interrogation room by the swim team. He has to get back to Lake quickly. I love how like the concept is so. Like, it, it's, it's, it strikes me as something that's going to slowly unravel the story over time so that you can make perfect sense of it. It's really cool. Lake. Should I continue? Okay, so... 
We're seeing this again. Interesting. <clears throat> Slow down, human. Answer my question. Did you mean Thomas for the first time on the deck? Yes. Did he give you anything? A carry bag? That's how you call it. What else? Nothing, believe me. That girl's your daughter? Alright. You did well. Memory extraction can be quite taxing on the body after all. Can I leave now? No, not yet, I'm afraid, human. Deputy, get him a cup of semi-sweet shom stew. Yes, boss. What is going on? I really don't know anything, sir. I swear to you. Shh, relax. This memory extractor will tell me everything. Is it semi-sweet? Yes, boss. Good, make him drink it. Let's resume once he's asleep. No, I beg you, please let me go. My daughter's waiting for me to return. Listen, I know what you're thinking. I'll let you go once the things here are over. If you refuse to cooperate, we'll find someone else to enjoy this device. Let me think about it. Who else had contact with Thomas today? Right. Should we invite your daughter over too? <gasps> no, don't do that. They're evil. Evil, I tell you. So we've met the villains. Lake. Back to sleep into the memory extractor then. Mm. Mr. Braith. Wake up, Mr. Braith. What is going on? So, are we in the memory extractor now? Or... Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Right, okay then guys, that's where I'm going to leave it, because that seems like a good place to leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger so you guys can play it when it eventually comes out and things. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below to that dev video I was talking about where they explain about the concept of the game and things. I think it's really worth a watch. They seem like really awesome people, actually. Um, and I'll also leave a link so you can wish this this game on Steam if you like the look of it as well. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit on that like button. It helps YouTube push this out to more people and get the word out about this game. And a big thank you for all of you watching and to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.